hello my friends welcome back to my channel uh, make sure to subscribe and like the video as well my friends this week uh, is a very sad week for the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis we suffered um, a massive damage a fire damage to the main hotel on the island of Nevis Four Seasons Resort Nevis where they had a massive fire on uh, Tuesday night of this week with a fire destroyed the gym and the push-up area and uh, previous to that we had a bankruptcy court judgment um, of Nisbet Plantation a hotel on the island of Nevis that is now closed and um, they had a bankruptcy um, court hearing where they was awarded uh, three million dollars to cover all expenses and everything like that now 80 employees work at the Nisbet plantation um, all those employees are now um, would have had to search for other jobs because there's no more jobs there the hotel is closed their four-star hotel a major hotel on the island now the fire that happened this week at Four Seasons Resort um, maybe up to ten million dollars worth of damages there but the good news is that Four Seasons will continue and they will rebuild um, they will probably have a temporary gym and push-up set up then the insurance are gonna come in and rebuild so they're gonna lose like maybe five percent of their guests but the hotel will continue and um, it won't be affected that much but what is troubling is that the fire that happened at Four Seasons the closest fire station to Four Seasons was in Charlestown that's about 10 minutes drive from the hotel now that fire station there um, has a fire morning brother has a fire truck there that is not working and I am told uh, is down for many months now so once the fire broke loose the calls were made there but the fire people there weren't able to respond because the fire truck is down so I am told they went all the way to the other side of the island close to Nisbet plantation and the four and the and um, airport over there and um, conflicting reports we are unsure whether that truck over there that fire truck made it I am told it made it but it had some issues so members of the community business people local business people who owned water trucks had to quickly rush by and um, assist in outing that fire now this was confirmed that business people had to come together and help to out the fire by the minister responsible for education on the island of nevis the honorable troy Liebert. he said that last night on a radio show he confirmed he thanked all the business people that came together and um, assisted in outing the fire now this is troubling to me because a fire truck if if it's one fire truck working we should have on the island of nevis that should be in charlestown the capital where all the businesses are it's centralized in that area so any fire break loose anywhere close by that fire truck would be able to make it there but this was not the case um, thankfully there was no loss of life there because it was a massive fire I'm sure you would have seen the videos and the um, pictures circulating there and um, what is also concerning to me is that maybe over a year ago we had a similar fire to a local business on the island of Nevis um, where his business place was burnt to the ground I'm sure many of you know rumors Alvan Brown um, of rumors and um, his business place was burnt to the ground it's close by the airport over there that fire truck weren't able to make it 
the same one that I'm told had issues is the same one that um, failed to make it to his business place and assist him with out in the fire. And his business place was burned to the ground. Um, it's been closed ever since. And um, what is also troubling to me is that Alvan came on Facebook and social media and he made a plea to the government for help and everything. And not one government minister came by his establishment, not one statement, nobody cared because it's a local business that was burned to the ground. No support at all. Up to this day, nobody is saying nothing. I am, I am not sure if Alvan got any insurance money. He said he had issues with the insurance. And up to now, there's nothing in place for him. Um, he would have lost his whole business. Um, no statement, nothing at all. It's like he didn't exist. But here we are. The same thing happened to Four Seasons, a foreign company on the island of Nevis. And by the next day, or the same night, government ministers release statement. They're on the scene. They're pledging support. They're thanking all the firemen and all the um, hard-working businessmen to come by. And it's a totally opposite reaction when they deal with a foreign-owned company. I am saying we need to start to treat our own better. This cannot continue. This is not sustainable for us here on the island of Nevis. We saw what happened during the pandemic where all hotels were closed and we had to rely on local businesses. And we pledged to develop sustainable industries to um, carry on our economy into the future. But we would have um, gone back to the old ways in same old system where we depend on tourism and you see what's happening now um, so that is not good also the matter with nisbet plantation nisbet plantation closed during the pandemic it never opened and i am told that um, all the employees were laid off um, and they never got back their jobs um, also the court hearing that took place obviously Nisbet would have owed a lot of money um, I'm told millions of dollars in bills um, to maybe Nevlek and Social Security and other businesses and stuff like that and the three million that was offered by the court that I am told that wouldn't be enough to cover but what is interesting is that um, the government had their lawyer there representing them at the bankruptcy hearing in Nisbet Plantation. I, I am told um, Nisbet Plantation had their lawyer there as well, but nobody, no lawyer represented the people. So the people did not exist in this case. And as I said before, remember what I told you happened with Alvan and Rumors, and uh, uh, it's the same trend we are seeing. So nobody represented the people so the people um, came out with nothing once again we we cannot continue like this my friends we need to start to support our own better than this otherwise this country is gonna fall this country cannot go into the future on this model this colonial mindset that we have here we cannot continue it it will fall if we continue it because the world is moving on um, nations are becoming stronger and more developed and more self-conscious and more um, um, people. Their nationals are oriented. oriented. They are strengthening, every country is strengthening their nationals around the world. And if we continue to support everybody except our own, we will fall or we will become enslaved on this island um, working for all foreign entities and our children and grandchildren will be living in poverty on this island, worshipping and working for foreign entities. That will be the model in the future if we continue this way. That is why we have to start to support our own. We need to see sustainable industries. Small businesses need to be supported and 
we need to become more compassionate when dealing with our own. Now, my friends, thank you for watching this video. Um, unfortunate what happened, but it's a learning lesson for all of us. Let us do better, my friends. Like this video, give me a thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you again in the next video. Share this video with all your friends and family as well. Much love. Bye-bye for now.